and welcome to Getting Down with Dave Jones. I'm Dave Jones and... It's Dave Jones. TK. Wait. See? That's my daughter. That is. Well, if you look at the video, you guys have reunited. We have. My long lost... Well, you guys have the same hair, except yours is gray. Wait. <laughs> No, 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 I, did, I just bleached it two, one too many times, and there it goes, you know. But anyway, hey, it's good to see you, and we're going to see a video oh, later of her. Child support. You want to pay me now? <laughs> <laughs> Stand in line, brother. Anyhow. Shoot the clips. Yeah, uh, no, well, and we're going to talk about you guys no, for no, just, a minute, just a Josh minute. don't listen to Josh. Josh doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> but, uh, Josh, tell me about you, and then we'll talk to, talk about her some, too. Well, I'm Josh, TKO. I've uh, been a professional wrestler for going on a little over 16 years. Um, I'm an actor as well. You might have seen me in shows like The Walking Dead, Under the Dome, um, Leverage. Just look me up online. You can find all that. But most importantly, what we do is we give back. Because if you're not doing this for the right reasons and for the kids, you're doing it for the wrong. So check out Pops for Patients, Fighting for Autism, uh, Waiting to Hear, the Julia Barber Foundation. Um, there's just so many. We try to help out with everything we can. Take a part and be a part of a better cause, you know. Go to your local animal shelter and help out there. Today we're out here at the Food City Family Race Night in Sevierville for Bristol Weekends for NASCAR. And I think it's in, it's benefiting the Special Education Center in Sevierville this weekend, which has been an incredible thing. There's been so much going on here. Dave Jones was here, I was here. which was incredible. And was. Kaylee, this is Kaylee. And Kaylee, and speaking of Kaylee, now man, I've been seeing you around there. I thought. You know, we, we put her in a little spot you and I did about tattooing there, and you, you beat the crap out of me that day. Oh, I remember that part. It. Well, that's that too. And Where's your tattoo? Oh. <laughs> he won't let me get it. Him and Lane knocked me out there. Gonna make we me got cry. Emily coming in. This oh, is Emily man. Cook. Emily Hi. Cook is here. And uh, let's do Kaylee, and then we'll talk to Emily All Cook. Right. <laughs> Kaylee, tell us about yourself and what you've been doing. Like. Well, I'm Kaylee Turner. I've done acting for years since I was about three or four. <laughs> She's little when we work little when I've done Goosebumps 2, Stranger Things, The Walking Dead, a bunch of crime shows. Making Dad look who bad. Who knows who? So. <laughs> hey, I've seen some of your work on there. That's, wow. Keep it up, keep it up. Keep an eye on him, too. And, uh, well, and what's the future hold? I know you don't know that. Take care of that. <laughs> so I was taking care of him. I'm planning on keeping on doing acting, and I also want to be a singer. Oh, wow. That, Hey, I'm getting away from wrestling a little bit, going back into music. We'll talk, we'll talk coming up here. So we're here old enough to get in bar to not like I can play, but uh and Emily Cook, tell us about yourself here. Uh, my name is Emily Cook. I'm a 17-year-old. I'm from Corbin, Kentucky. I drive a mini cup car. I, <laughs> I signed on with the development team in NASCAR, currently looking for some sponsorship to get into a late model ride. Sponsor. <laughs> Yeah, we're going on good with that. I'm in with two foundations, uh, Sparrow Ranch on the island, which they help disabled people get to tracks and help them become, you know, more family oriented with things like that. And I'm also a part of Take Steps for Crohn's and Colitis, which I've had Crohn's, I've had UC for about five years now. Okay, wow. So that, that's a whole slew yeah. of stuff there. Yeah. We're going to kind of look at your cars here in a oh, minute, yeah. so I'll put some of that on at the end. And uh, I can't fit in her car. <laughs> What? What? I know she's got a future and you've got a future. Don't know about him yet. But <laughs> tell us what do you think you're going to be doing. what my future is. It's right here. That's right. That's right. Uh, you know, old man my old future, I, I, I hope it's going to be cup cars. My goal is to get all the way up to the monster cup cars and race with the big guys. Well, I'm all is that a fat on. joke? No. <laughs> it sounded like a fat joke to no. every grown man. No, I don't fashion people. That's not okay. It's not okay. Hey. Why are you laughing? <laughs> because you... Oh, you're hilarious, man. He is. <laughs> Isn't he hilarious? <laughs> now, and and Josh, so you're still still trying some stuff and uh, still out there. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, I'll still be wrestling. So everybody knows that I've been open about it. I've had a couple heart procedures. Um, in the upcoming months, we'll find out if I'm going to continue to keep the crazy dream and keep the crazy life of professional wrestling going. If not, make sure to come see me while I'm still doing it. I'm supposed to be in Morristown at ICWA on May 4th, and it may or may not be my last go around. So no promises, but I will be there on May 4th at ICWA. 
I will be lacing the boots up one more time, stepping in the ring alongside Insane Lane, getting crazy insane, and laying people out. Because you might think something could stop this, but whether it's a bad heart, whether it's Lane's blind eye, or these two complaining, nothing gets in the way of crazy insane, stepping in those ropes and taking people out. He said like a true wrestler there, and you gotta love him, don't you? So so, somebody to wrestle. <laughs> well, hey, I want to thank you guys for getting down with Dave Jones. I want to thank you guys for watching. We got some stuff we're going to look at. I've been down with Dave Jones for way too long. I was down with him when he was Denise Jones. That was before oh, I had to tell anybody that. Yeah, <laughs> way back there. Before. Before I knew about it. Anyways, uh, thanks for getting down with me. And folks, we're going to watch some of this stuff. And uh, we'll see you next time. Hey, Dave Jones here. And I'm, uh, I'm with uh, Eddie Price. Eddie, uh, we've been talking here a little bit. Tell them some of what you were telling me about how you got your beginnings there and uh, what you actually do. Well, I was in the bath one day when I discovered why I was destined for great. Wait, that's somebody else. <laughs> no, actually, uh, I was uh, a bit of a wanderlust in my life, and I had uh, didn't really know what I wanted to do. And during, along the way, I fell into uh, substance abuse, and I became a professional at that. And it lasted for nearly 20 years. And then I uh, had this miraculous uh, intervention. Part of my family, my wife, my brother, and a pastor actually came to the uh, what they call a dope house where I was staying. And uh, I had OD'd uh, enough to kill probably three people. And I still didn't understand why I was still alive. So I'm waiting to die. And uh, they pull up. In a, in a church van at the place I was at. And they would not leave until I talked with them. And so reluctantly, I went outside where they were and uh, they held me accountable in firmness and in love, which is exactly what I needed. And long story short, I, I did what they called, prayed the prayer of salvation. Right. It was just me talking with God, just like we're talking now as, as a, another person. But uh, what happened with that prayer is I, I gave my life over to, to God and what He wanted me to do with this life that was a gift from Him. And uh, when I said amen to that prayer, I stood up sober, detoxed, and I never had to go to rehab. This wow. May will be 14 years ago. Wow. So uh, ever since then, it's been this amazing journey of self-discovery. And when I see something that's always interested me, but I was too scared to try it or too drugged up to, to try it, I, I try it now. And so uh, yeah. in the late 2013, I went to my first comic book convention and I met some legendary artists. And uh, I actually, just this voice in my head said, this is your next thing to try. And I kind of had an inner argument, like I'm too old and this and that. Finally, I, I resigned myself to like, this is something I've always wanted to do and I've never pulled the trigger on it. So I went home and uh, started drawing that night. And now we're here in 2019, nearly six years later, and uh, I work for several companies, uh, Walking Dead, uh, Lucasfilm, uh, Marvel, and um, I get to meet my favorite celebrities. I get to uh, challenge and inspire by being the guy that people want to know, how did you do it? Or especially with young people, and they're, I get to give them a pep talk, you know. Right. Yeah. And tell them what happened to me, and the art, the art opens that door for them to hear my story. And then I, I get so much, especially on social media, I get so much dividends. What I call dividends is I get to hear from these people that, without social media, I'd probably never see again. Right. But I'll hear about how one of them quit school and after our talk they went back or how somebody was suicidal after our talk they found hope. Right. Um, and to right. be able to affect change in that way coming from somebody who should be by all intents and purposes should be dead. You know, yeah, 14 
14 years and underground to be able to do this is uh, I tell people I'm living the dream and I mean it when I say it like earlier today so, uh, some guys from The Walking Dead and I we went uh, to a children's hospital in Knoxville yeah and we gave away art and toys and stuff and uh, just to see those uh, kids faces light up that's worth it right there you know Oh, absolutely. Well, tell us, you said social media. Uh, give me some uh, places we can find your work. Uh, you know, we've had to pack up here tonight, but, you know, uh, we can find your work and, uh, and get in contact with you if well, we need to. Um, if you go to eddieprice.net, that's E-D-D-I-E-P-R-I-C-E dot net, it links to Twitter, Instagram. Uh, I've got T-shirts. This is one of my T-shirts. I've got uh, my T-shirt stores is on, are on there, uh, Facebook, all that good stuff. So you can just go there and that's the door to all that is Eddie Price. Hey, hey. Eddie, thanks for getting down with Thank Dave Jones. You. It was great to talk to you tonight. And we're going to talk some more people, so we'll be Stay right back. Tattoo is a big decision. Whether or not to get one, then which tattoo do you want? Most important, who should do the tattoo? Newport Tattoo, where Ivy has served the Newport area for over four and a half years. Get a professional, high-quality, top-notch tattoo. Located at 322 West Broadway. Newport Tattoo. Come out and What's see. going on here? You made a tattoo. What are you getting? 
My Little Pony. You have to know. For your first tattoo? That's <laughs> getting a That's pony. For a girl. A girl wants Is this a tattoo shop for men or what? A hey, real men can wear pink My Little Pony tattoos. This ain't no real men. You're <laughs> no. tattooed today. You got a problem, buddy. So you have to. We decided we're getting tattooed today. Yeah. Wait, did you, did you, did you, did you, look at me. You got till I count to three to hit the bricks, so I'm going to make you. One, two, three. Get out of here. Oh, come on, dude. Really? What up? Everybody got to do the dirty work. I'm going first. This Get over. sucks. No more tattoos. We're real men, little men, big men. What the heck? All men get that kid music. And women too. Unless you're TKO, you might have to wait in line. No more tattoos. Newport tattoo. Don't let Newport tattoo, where even chicks are tough. It seems like every time we come up with an idea, you somehow boil it and your sister gets the better of us. But it's okay, because I'm super dad and I have a super awesome idea that could never go wrong. Since it's springtime, we're going to get your sister with the water pranks, because springtime calls for spring showers. Let's go show your sister what it's like to have her parade rain going. Let's do this. There's nothing like waiting on a beautiful spring day. How'd you know it's coming? We should get out of here. How'd you get there? Don't you know you should always bring an umbrella? How'd she know it was coming? Did you give it away? Okay, look, that doesn't matter. We cannot let it in like this. I've got another idea. This one can't go wrong. Are you prepared for this? Let's go make sure it rains on your sister. Come on. Let's get her! What? How did she know what's coming again? What? Whoa! How? Always come prepared for a rainstorm. <sighs> what just happened? How did she get so prepared for this? Look, no more than Mr. Nice Water now. It's time to go to Buckets. We got the perfect plan. She's getting soaked. You ready? Let's do this. I'm 
we take this water show to the gun show. Buckets up. Let's do this. Well, this has been a fun day. Let's get her! <laughs> what? How? Nice try. <laughs> Not today. Bullfrog! How does this keep happening? Really? <sighs>
She's gone. She took my truck and my dog. I'm gonna miss that dog.